Okay, camera's on. Let's go see Mr. Rogers. Maybe he'll read us a story. Yeah, hey, that's a great idea. Kids! Yeah. Hey, kids, come on in. Hey, what are you doing today? Can you read us a story, Mr. Rogers? Well, sure I can. What kind of a story? A physics story. Yeah, read us a story about physics. Oh, well, I just happen to be reading this book about Richard Feynman. Oh, yeah, those are my favorite. I love Richard Feynman. So, Richard Feynman is working under supervisor, Mr. Wheeler, and he's working on a very difficult physics problem. <clears throat> While I was a graduate student at Princeton, I worked as a research assistant under John Wheeler. He gave me a problem to work on, and it got hard and I wasn't getting anywhere. The idea was that electrons don't act on themselves, they act on other electrons. What I thought was, I'll shake this electron. It will make some nearby electron shake, and the effect back from the nearby electron would be the origin of the force of reaction location. So I did some calculations, and then took them to Wheeler. Wheeler right away said, well that isn't right, because it varies inversely as the square of the distance of the other electrons, whereas it should not depend on any of these variables at all. It will also depend inversely upon the mass of the other electron. It will be proportional to the charge on the other electron. What bothered me was, I thought, he must have done the calculation. I only realized later that a man like Wheeler would immediately see all that stuff when you give him a problem. I had to calculate, but he could see. Now kids, what do you think the moral of that story is? Um, much of the universe can be described by a few simple mathematical relationships. Yes, yes, excellent. And, and, under, and understanding those relationships in our gut can help us to understand fundamental forces and interactions and make important predictions. Excellent, yes. Anything else? So I have a little problem for you here, kids. I have a graph of a bunch of different kinds of relationships. So across the bottom is the independent variable, and along the side is the dependent variable. These are the graphs of the different relationship types. So there's directly proportional, there's inversely proportional, inversely proportional to the square, uh, proportional to the square root. Can you figure out which relationship is which?